Hey guys, I'm Brian with Night Transportation. Today we're going to be doing a tour of our new 2023 trucks. Today we're going to be looking at the 2023 Kenworth T680, the 2023 Volvo VNL 760, and our 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. All these trucks have some great benefits. Let's go take a look. Today we're going to be looking at the new 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. Some of the awesome things to point out about the new Freightliner Cascadia, they do have an upgraded aerodynamics package. This is gonna help with your overall fuel consumption as if you're a company owner, you own multiple trucks, or even thinking about becoming an owner operator, this is gonna play into big time with your overall cost factor of having the truck. Some of the other awesome features on it, they have extended the cab extenders on the 2023 model year, so that, that helps provide an increased aerodynamic aspect as well. Now that we're inside the cab of the truck, one of the awesome things to point out about the 2023 Freeliners, they have started moving to more of an all digital display. Everything can be controlled through your control unit here on your Engage display. One of the things I like the most about the truck is they now have a climate control feature. What that means is for you as a driver or an operator, you're going to be able to save fuel economy that way. When you go into your settings, go down to your optimized idle. Traditionally, optimized idle was only for battery shutdown. What that would do is if your batteries dropped below whatever your preset voltage was, typically 11.9, it would start the truck, run it for 30 minutes to charge your batteries up. Now, they have a interior comfort mode option. With the interior comfort mode, you can enable that feature, and based off the temperature in the truck, it's gonna start it up and turn the AC on for you. So another awesome feature on the 2023 Freightliner, they now include a fridge. It's a pretty decent sized fridge in the sleeper for your driver comfort. You've got a separate freezer compartment inside of the fridge. All of our trucks come with a 2000 watt power inverter. You do have your standard 110 plugins that come standard on the truck as well. All of our trucks as well have a SBAR bunk heater in them. That's also gonna provide an additional cost benefit to you as a company owner or you as the driver. That's gonna allow you to turn the truck off, set the temperature to whatever temperature you deem is comfortable, and it's gonna keep it that temperature inside of the truck at all times. So now let's go ahead, we're gonna take a look at the new 2023 Volvo VNL 760. Like most of the other truck manufacturers, they've gone to an all digital display. One of the things that I think is the most unique about Volvo's digital display is the options to go in and actually see fault code straight from the dash. This is gonna help with your overall maintenance cost when your drivers are able to actually look at it, tell you what the fault code is, you can do a decent diagnosis yourself, be able to find a proper repair shop so you can save yourself some money. They have started coming with the new Idle Smart feature. The Idle Smart feature allows your driver to have interior comfort without having to run the truck the entire time. This is going to help with your overall idle cost by allowing the driver to have a tablet inside of the sleeper that they can choose to set their own temperature at. The way this system works is the driver will say set it at 72 degrees. That's going to keep the interior of the cab at a nice cool 72 degrees, keep your driver comfortable. As the truck heats up inside the sleeper, it's going to start the truck up, run it for a short period of time to bring the truck back down to temperature. Then the truck will shut back off, so that way you're not having to waste your fuel money and helps increase your fuel economy. The new Volvos have a spacious fridge as well. In my opinion, it's one of the most spacious of all the fridges in any of the trucks, as well as coming with a 2000 watt standard inverter. These trucks also have a standalone bunk heater. With the bunk heater, the driver is able to set their interior comfort temperature as well, similar to the AC system with the Idle Smart. Say the driver wants to keep it at 65 degrees in here during the winter. It'll do it all day long, doesn't use hardly any fuel. It uses a tenth of a gallon per hour to run the bunk heater. This is also going to generate and help with your overall fuel costs and help your fuel economy. The Volvo VNL 760 is designed for driver comfort. As far as the seats, Position of the steering wheel. Steering wheel has tons of different positions for driver comfortability as well as the adjustments you can have on the steering wheel. Everything in the Volvo VNL 760 is modular down to the cup holders. Drivers can remove the cup holders, place them any there, anywhere they want to make it their own home, make it more comfortable to them individually. That way, not every single driver has to be the same. They can spread it out, make it to their liking. Now we're gonna look at the new 2023 Kenworth T680. A lot has changed on this Kenworth T680. When they changed from the 2022 to 2023 model year, they almost did a complete redesign of this truck. Starting from your hood, they changed the complete headlight assembly. All the way coming back, you now have running lights going down the side trim here. 
as well as the complete upgraded aerodynamic package to help with increased fuel economy. You now have easy accessibility to your battery compartment, making it easier for your driver to check batteries, change batteries, anything like that. Prior to the 2023 model year, this entire fairing had to come off to do anything with your battery compartment. That's going to help you as an owner and as a driver be able to make better judgments and more cost-effective decisions with your truck. Coming to the back of the truck, they've done a complete aerodynamic upgrade to allow for better wind deflection to increase fuel economy as well. This is the first truck to ever have a 100% full digital display dash. There is no analog gauges anymore on this truck. Everything is through your digital dash here as well. The new T680 does have a auto climate controller that can be controlled from the sleeper. It has heat and AC to help with your driver comfort. They get to choose what temperature they want the inside of the cab to be at. It'll start the truck up, cool it down, or heat it up depending on what the driver has it set for. This is going to help you guys with increased fuel economy as well as maintenance of the longevity of the truck. The Kenworth also is one of the only trucks to have a pull-out style fridge. This allows the drivers to have more versatility of what they can store in the fridge as well as having a huge freezer compartment. We do have a 2000 watt power inverter in every single one of our trucks. The T680 does have a dedicated microwave compartment here with a locking bar in the front. It also has a full swing TV mount. This can accommodate up to a 32 inch flat screen TV. So back here in the sleeper of the truck, we do have our integrated control panel. This is gonna allow your driver to control the heat and AC settings inside the truck. Right now, we have it set to auto start. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna set it down to 67 degrees inside the truck. With this being said, the truck, it'll take a couple seconds, but it's gonna recognize, hey, it's not 65 degrees inside the truck. It's gonna start the truck up, let it run for about 30 minutes, cool it down to the temperature we have set, and it's gonna shut the truck off. That's gonna help, like I said, increase fuel economy, as well as the overall maintenance of your truck because you're not idling the truck like crazy. I thank you guys for watching this video with us today. I'm Brian with Night Transportation. I thank you guys once again.